I'm running through the castle. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Rear castle entrance. Right, okay. Yeah. Barracks. All oh, right, we found the barracks. Uh, I found the bit that we should have done before we got to the bit that was. Yeah. There's no way to get into this. We'll just smash the ball there. Oh, no, no, no. I had a. Is this the barracks key? Is this the barracks? Yeah. I had a key for that, seriously. Like an actual key. Okay. So you said there's an entrance in here or something? At least we don't cheat. No. Wait, no, no, sorry. We're not, not cheat. We're not cheat, cheat, not. Slipknot, great band. Be back. Yeah, as a small child, I listened to Slipknot. They were the greatest rock band that ever lived. Their story, their tales of woe that they put to heavy metal rock guitars. <laughs> Shout out to Fairly Odd Parents that's on the Nicktoons thing I'm watching at the moment. <laughs> Even a lot of shout outs today. Yes. And special shout out to a band that uh, Monk Dread put me onto this morning. Earlier, I should say. I'm going to do it. I'm going to eat a golden apple. I'm going to eat two golden apples. I'm going to eat three golden apples. I have no more golden apples. Um, yeah, I don't know where they mean by this entrance. I have a pressure plate. Okay. I was shouting out to them, but you didn't mention them by name. <laughs> oh, I didn't mention the band's name, because I thought you might have given them a shout out. You said, well, it's not a band, it's just two people called Dan. Or it might be one person doing two roles. Yeah, Dan and, um... <laughs> yeah. It's absolutely true, because I read it in the Daily Mail. <laughs> I hate that newspaper. <laughs> I mean, if I was like a small-minded racist pig, then I would absolutely love that newspaper. But because I'm not, then that yeah. newspaper is quite possibly the worst thing that's ever happened to society. Yeah. Rose on the first page, flying through a road race, flying baddie, big foreign baddie, put him in a big cage, bureaucratic red tape, pace full. Gang Ray Gordon out of bathing before the country cases. Ian Huntley gets a son jacuzzi in a gym in jail. It's absolutely true because I read it in the Daily Mail. <laughs> to make that more poignant, I got my Minecraft character to dance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so Dan and Dan Films, thank you very much for that. I know it was four years ago, but still all the more relevant today. Maybe even more so. Yeah. Yeah, and if... <clears throat> the bit about Gordon House and Dave in perhaps may resonate a bit more from the time that it was written, but uh, unfortunately, that's something that the that's something that actually happened. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, they do mix like truth with lies in that place thing. Mm -hmm. Unless it's like Sky News or Fox News, according to Family Guy, that anything once reported upon Fox News is automatically becomes a lie whether you've saw it happen or not. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, anything that happens in the Daily Mail once reported in the Daily Mail automatically becomes a lie. 
Yes. Okay, I'm really stuck at where we're doing what we're doing with this. So if the Daily Mail headline came up one day saying the sky is blue, then all of a sudden we'll have to change to red. No, we will literally, literally become colorblind. Ah, all of us. Yeah. Which would really annoy the Daily Mail because then, you know, everybody would be the same colour and they couldn't make a point of saying that people were foreign and not from this country. So, you know. I it then. <laughs> but, you know. I'm going on an adventure. It's like a little roller coaster that. I'm on a roller coaster. I'm on the highway to hell. Highway to hell. Okay. I don't know where I'm going, but there's a spider. My god, there's a spider. And there's a creeper. No, there's a creeper. Oh, thank you. Um, I don't know what happened, but I just... Um, I think reality just went kaplooey. Mm. I'm, I'm now trapped. I've just in. put the jukebox on in the king's ballroom, and all I can hear is... You're talking about being trapped to some music. <laughs> um, apparently, if you are on a minecart going towards a creeper and a spider, if the creeper blows up but doesn't kill everything, it gives the reality just enough time to mess up to send you for a wall. Hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm now currently in creative mode because I have no idea what's going on. Oh look, we've solved all the puzzles that we had to cut out because something went wrong with the recording, clearly, why not? Yes. Do you have spaceship? Domes, so, sweet domes. It went so wrong that when uh, Mr. Rope then just said that, uh, the video had somehow reversed itself, so like we're coming down the ladder and not going up it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what happened, sure. Sure, why not? Oh, command center. I found the command center thing. Mm. Do you want to read this one? Okay. It's over there. No, I, I threw it to you. Okay. Oops, I'm throwing it um, all over the place now. <clears throat> Upon entering the command center, you can see that not all is well. According to the computer readout, system all over the domes are offline and there appears to have been an explosion in the sick bay. But it has been contained. Food reserves are dangerously low. The three mine shafts all have caved in with gravel. Turn power for them one to four and five to nine are all offline. And geothermal power is also offline. It is a wonder the reserve battery for the command center is still operational. The command center will serve as your base of operations to get everything back up and running. As tasks are completed, the lights on that console will light up. The domes are color-coded and correspond to the panel they are connected to. Once all are lit, you will be able to use the manual release to enter sick bay from another side and assess the damage in there. Your objective is to get the transporter back up and running, so you can beam CNA, beam, I think I meant to say can, beam back up to the ship. You're never getting off this rock without it. Apparently there's a lockdown in something. Hmm. Oh, hang on. Hello, Mr. Vendor Freak. Oh. All I have to do is kill that Ender Freak. <laughs> I'm fixing things. We are the greatest ship's captains ever.
Uh, I bought something from Amazon. I bought something from uh, Play.com. And 